You guys trying to create a heavy metal guitar tone? Because we're about to do it. This is Josh with Deprived Productions in our Axe Edit 3 tutorial series, tutorial number two. Let's just jump right into it, man, and make a metal tone. 415, it's just a random number because it's empty. That's my preset. We're going to name it metal, though, in all capital letters because it's about to get loud. And then I'll save it right here. Save button. Boom. Let's get started. Now, this is going to be a simple, just heavy metal worthy tone. Um, and you guys can do all the sculpting and cool stuff later. So we're going to fly through this. So get ready. Right click. Input. We gotta start with an input, so we'll go to input one. I got this guitar in my hand, but it's only going through the mic because we haven't wired everything together. Let's go ahead and make some quick changes. This is the gate of the input. You can see that with the, the input selected. I want you to turn the attack all the way down and the release all the way down and the ratio all the way up. Okay. Now I just adjust this for personal preference, so that's up to me. Now we need an output because again, you can't hear me, so we need to add a few things in here. So we'll bring the right click way over here, do the output one and then we'll connect them. So let's click here, and let's click there. And now, you can hear me a little bit. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Right click on this first box and go down to the drive. Imagine plugging your guitar into a drive pedal. Boom, but what treble, or but what pedal? I don't know, there's all kinds of settings here, and again, we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with a lot of them, but we're gonna change a couple things, so just follow along. Type, what kind of type? Got all kinds of them here. See, See a ruckus? You ever do a little ruckus? Let's do that. The drive, we're gonna set it down to one. And now if I jam this guitar, you'll see that it's, it just added just a little bit of volume and gain. If I bypass it by pressing the space bar. I'll turn it back on. You can hear a little bit of a difference there, right? A little more volume, a little more gain, but that's mainly because we're gonna add most of the gain right here. This next box is gonna be our amplifier, son. Amp one. Jump right into it, man. All kind of settings. Don't be scared. I'm a little scared, but we need to. We're gonna change the type, though. That's for sure. So go to type right here. Uh, we got all kinds of them. I ain't gonna lie, man. The one they got selected, the 5150 red way over here. You see that? That is a good one. I like it. We're doing it. Now I'm gonna change this input trim to four, and that's all we're gonna do here. Okay. Now let's check out my guitar tone now. <laughs> Real trebly and nasty, and I'll tell you why, because it's got to be running through a what? Speakers, my friend, a cabinet. So the next box, cab one, and we get to pick a cabinet, and guess what? There's thousands. So you go right here, click on this, our first little panel here, and all kind of cabinets, cabernets, cabernets everywhere. Um, you can just keep on scrolling. Empty ones now. Don't know why just yet. Oh, uh, no, I'm just playing with you. But it's, uh, if you get where the, where the cabernets meet the empties, you know what I'm talking about? You got the CELs, you got the, the DK2 here, it's a 4x12 cab. Um, excellent cabinet, like the sound of this one a lot. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that one in there, select that one. And now check out my guitar tone. <laughs> Definitely a little different, right? Got rid of that treble. Bringing it to life a little bit. Now, a couple tricks here when it comes to these next couple. I know we had a gate here, but we're gonna add another one here and I'll tell you why. If I'm jamming, there's a little bit of sound maybe at the end. Very little. I'm actually doing pretty good. But sometimes there's a bunch from all the all the gain and stuff like that you've created. If you got a lot of gain and you do any of that later, so we're gonna right click just just because we need to, and we're gonna add a gate expander. So gate expander one, kind of like the second one. The first one I'm gonna set up kind of the same. Turn the ratio all the way up, the attack time all the way down, and the release time all the way down. Okay, and I want to put the hold time about right here, about right there. Threshold up a little bit. Now the meaning of this is to when I stop playing. When I'm jamming, as soon as I stop playing, I want the volume to stop completely, just dive out. Almost like, almost robotically, but still naturally. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds something like this. I don't know what chord that was, but it was the wrong one. But you hear what I'm doing here. It's kind of like, when I, when I play, it's really quick, and it just stops everything, and the volume cuts out. Just jamming, man. Just jamming. Anyway, <laughs> right click on this next one because the guitar tone is just a little bit muddy. Now, again, you could go into the amp and the, and the drive and kind of go into the graphic EQs here and change it. We're just going to add our own graphic EQ here at the end for now. Graphic EQ 1 here, the last box. And I'm just going to make a few make a few changes here that I think sound pretty cool. So just follow along. The first one, I'm going to leave it alone, 0. But this one's going to be set to 2. Okay. And this one's going to be set to negative 1. Uh-huh. Negative 0.5. Uh, we'll leave this one alone. We'll go set this one to one. We'll leave this one alone too. It's pretty. Set this one to one. And set the next one to one. And set the next one to nothing. Leave it alone. Just don't touch it. Now if I jam my guitar. Ah! 
Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is kind of bypass this. So if I play a quick riff, and then I bypass it with the space bar, bypass it or unbypass it. One more time. Makes it a little brighter, right? And a little deeper, a little brighter, just less muddy. I just kind of think it's a little clearer, but hey, I'm just toying around, guys. Anyway, you kind of got to start up of a metal tone now, right? There you go, man. Rock it out, guys. That's pretty much it, man. I just want to give you guys kind of a, a setup for the second tutorial. All kinds of more guitar tones coming. We'll we'll talk some stuff, throw some ideas at me. We'll see if we can create them. Uh, hit, the, hit the YouTube channel, guys. Deprived Productions. Hit it up. Like the Facebook page. Deprived Productions. Productions, make it happen. Um, appreciate you guys, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We got some more UE4 and all kind of other stuff in the way, all kinds of stuff to, to, to learn. But yeah, man, pick up your guitar, rock it out. Axe Edit 3 is awesome. Check it out, man. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Keep rocking out, and we'll make some more guitar tones. Sound good? Peace. <laughs>